forced into prostitution at age 17. That's what Fayetteville police say happened to one teenager. And the person accused of the crime is only 23 years old. The case shines a bright light on the hidden world of human trafficking. CBS North Carolina's Michael Hyland joins us live from Fayetteville with more on the scope of the problem and what's being done to deal with it. Michael. This case today follows the arrest last week of a man Cumberland County Sheriff's deputies say promoted the prostitution of four women. So today we talked to someone who works with the victims in these cases to find out why this is so common here and what's being done to curb it. Kushanda Moore, the latest in a series of people accused of human trafficking over the years. Fayetteville police arrested her Tuesday, saying she forced a 17-year-old into prostitution and profited from it. Human trafficking is a very dark, but it's also a, a very hidden problem. Pete Twiddell is the founder of the nonprofit group Five Sparrows, which is part of the Fayetteville Dream Center. His organization works with victims of human trafficking in the Fayetteville area. In a typical year, 30 to 40 of them. He says he's already seen 30 this year. Over the last couple of years, we as a city and a county have put a lot more emphasis on it. Last week, the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office arrested a man at the Oasis Spa, saying he promoted the prostitution of four women. I can never get your knife back. You get taken that from me. Perhaps most famously, young Shania Davis was killed several years ago when authorities say her mother sold her off to pay a drug debt. What's so surprising are the numbers uh, and, and how it affects our community. Fayetteville Mayor Nat Robertson says the city began to more aggressively tackle the issue two and a half years ago as advocates for victims raised awareness of the problem. It was not only a problem here in Fayetteville because of the I-95 um, corridor, but also throughout the state. The National Human Trafficking Resource Center already has had 83 human trafficking cases reported in North Carolina this year. It is a problem that affects uh, all strata, all, all different facets of society. During her hearing, Kushanda Moore asked the judge to lower her bond from $600,000, but the judge denied that. Coming up new at 6, the challenges in finding the resources for victims once they escape these situations and what the city's trying to do about that. Live in Fayetteville, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina.